Well, good evening. Just to wrap up with the council meeting for August 10th, 2015 for the city of Grand Rapids. Uh, work session this afternoon was once again the budget preparation. We went through public works, uh, the fire department engineering and their various subdivisions, which includes the airports and hazmat and stuff. So um, they all look in line with what we're looking at doing for 2016. It's a process that's going to take uh, considerable time yet between now and the end of the year, but we're uh, very hopeful that our tax capacity tax rate for 2016 will basically be at the uh, same level uh, as it was in 2015. On the regular agenda, uh, under the consent, just a couple of things I just wanted to touch on. Uh, we are accepting a grant for the uh, police department towards zero deaths of uh, $48,795. And then um, we authorize the police department to donate some bikes. They impound bikes over the course of the year and they sit there for a certain period of time. And those bikes are going to be donated back to Cap Baker Lions Club. And they will modify them, refurbish them, and they will get them out so they can be used out into the community. One thing that I did want to touch on, and I talked about it at the end of the uh, consent one, was Todd Driscoll, a longtime resident of the Grand Rapids area, served on a council and has served on many boards and commissions, is leaving the city of Grand Rapids and relocating down to the Twin Cities area. And we certainly want to take this opportunity to wish him the best and to thank him for the many, many, many years of service that he has put in on different boards, commissions, and on the council with the city of Grand Rapids. It's certainly appreciated from any and all that have worked with Todd over the years. Under the regular agenda, Dale Anderson came in and talked a little bit from the rec department. We're having problems out there with our sprinkler system. Uh, so far this year, we spent about 12,000 bucks trying to repair that system. Uh, we're going to go out now and get some quotes on what it would take to repair it the right way instead of just putting band-aids on there. Mike Liebel came in, talked a little bit from the fire department side. Uh, it's been a, a year of change in the fire department. Mike has taken over as the chief. Uh, we've got uh, a new process where we're having two captains underneath of him. We're looking for a new hazmat officer, so a lot of changes in the, in the fire department, but they seem to be managing and moving along quite nicely under the leadership of Mike Liebel, and that is always a positive and good thing. The calls are up a little bit, uh, but a lot of that's attributable to the dry spring and stuff that we've been having. Julie Kennedy was in and talked a little bit about uh, a supplemental agreement letter with SEH. We're looking at some improvements to north-south passage of pedestrians, bicycles, walkers uh, with pedestrian bridge, where the funding could come from. So we authorize that to go forward with that. Uh, it would actually now be a 2017 project if everything works out. We would look for some state bonding money to go along with the federal money and the city money that we have sitting in a pool there already that was due to be used for bridge support and work on bridges in Grand Rapids. We accepted uh, the resignation or the retirement of David Jebo from uh, the fire department, 22 years. We appointed Sean Graber as a captain. Uh, we also uh, modified a resolution amending the pilot agreement between the city of Grand Rapids and the PUC. That's a good thing as uh, the city went through expansion um, the PUC has been looking at some of these other areas and they pay a flat fee out there to the city of Grand Rapids. So in order to help hold their costs down, modifying that pilot agreement was a good thing for some of the areas as they've been looking at expanded services in the outlying areas. We paid the bills and we'll get together again on August 24th. Be safe and have a good summer.